Hello, this is Richard with MyWheelAdapters.com. I'll talk to you today about some lug nuts. Okay, primarily we want to talk about uh, lug nuts used on adapters. The adapter has a conical seat here. The part of the adapter that that lug nut touches is conical, a 60 degree straight seat. Okay, so it requires a lug nut that has a 60 degree tapered seat. This here. See it, it, it's it's straight and, and tapered. Okay. The parts of a lug nut we have here the bottom part that touches the wheel is the seat and then you have the head of the lug nut which is a hex. We have the top part which is the six sided hex the proper kind of lug nut for the adapter is a conical seat on the lug nut. Now, Mercedes has a lug bolt. Okay, this is a lug bolt. This is a lug nut. They come in different sizes and shapes and such, but basically this is a lug nut over here. This is a lug bolt because it has a bolt that goes through the wheel into the vehicle. The uh, opposite is the vehicle would have a stud sticking out and a lug bolt goes on to there. Now, a Mercedes has this lug bolt that has a rounded seat on it. It's rounded radius. It's, it's called a ball or radius seat. Okay. Even if this part of this lug bolt was not too long to use on the adapter, you could not use this because of this round seat. Okay, you need a, a straight taper, not a ball seat. Okay, Honda does the same thing. This is a Honda lug nut. It looks like it would work fine with the adapter because it'll go down in there and everything, but it still has this round ball seat on the on the part that touches the wheel, which is improper. I'll set it up here beside this one other. This one maybe you can see. This one is straight, uh, a straight taper. And this one is rounded. Hope you can see that well enough on the video. Alright. It's another Honda lug nut with a round seat. Now, this is a BMW bolt. Okay, it is. It has the right taper here. It goes into the goes into the vehicle, so the the taper part is correct. It could be used on an adapter. It meets it, it seats right. This one, if you if you check here, it is it is sticking out just a little bit. See that sticking out just a little bit past that adapter. That is unacceptable. Your, your wheel must rest flat against this adapter. Can't have a bump here. That is unacceptable. So, if, you're gonna, if you were going to use this bolt, you'd have to grind some of the head off of it in order to make it where that it doesn't hit the back of the wheel. Second thing to consider is when you put it through there, so far it's sticking through the back of the adapter. Okay. On a Mercedes, sometimes if it sticks too far into the, or into the hub, it will hit the interior brake parts and such on a Mercedes. Uh, so, sometimes it goes too far in. Now, an alternative to a bolt is to get a stud conversion. Okay, this is a stud conversion. It is uh, basically a two-sided uh, stud that has threads here and in a little space so this part threads into the vehicle and then threads here for the wheel for the wheel to go on this end of it has a a hex there for uh, Allen wrench to snug it up into the vehicle then you have studs sticking out of the vehicle so you can put a regular lug nut onto it these are especially useful if you've got a thin adapter such as three quarters of an inch or you know even one inch where uh, you can get a 
low profile lug nut like this and a stud conversion to go in and clear on your on your vehicle and not hit the back of the wheel. There's several different types of lug nuts. Um, this is an old style mag lug nut. It uses a washer. It's supposed to go down into the wheel. Can't use something like this with an adapter. Um, same thing. This is the same thing. It still uses a washer. It does not have this uh, does not have this taper there. So you cannot use this even if the top was clear. Now this is a tuner style lug nut. This is acceptable. It has the right taper and it will go down in there and, and it will go down in there and clear without any sticking above the adapter. Um, Sometimes you can have an open-ended factory lug nut like this, but it's just too big to fit in the hole, so you still can't use that. You have to get a smaller lug nut. Um, this is a tuner style bolt. Uh, this is okay. It's got the right seat. It goes down in there far enough. As long as it doesn't stick through too far in the back and hit something on the car, you're okay with those. This is a factory Ford lug nut. It has a washer on the back of it, a flat bottom. These will go down into the hole in the adapter. Uh, in a lot of applications, but you cannot use it because it will not center up with this flat bottom. It must have the taper that goes down into there. Okay. Now here is a ET lug nut. It has the taper and the short top and everything. It's a very good lug nut to use if the adapter will allow it. It has this shank on the bottom here that has to go down inside the hole of the adapter. So if we look at this one and try to put this on, this does not work properly. You see the see it's not going down in there. This taper is supposed to match that taper. If this adapter would, proper, would fit properly, this lug nut would go into that hole. It will not. You see that. It does not go down into the hole. Okay. Here's a different adapter that this ET lug nut does work with. You go right down in the hole. It goes down, it clears, and it's down in the center of the hole. See? It goes all the way down in there. From the back, you can see this guy, this this portion goes down into the hole, and therefore the seat right here, the conical part, matches up with the conical part of the adapter, and that's a proper fit. You got to have the right seat on your lug nuts that are holding the adapter. It's got to be a conical, 60 degree conical seat on the lug nut holding the adapter and you can't let anything can't let anything protrude above the top the top face of the adapter so that it hits the back of the wheel whether it be the stud from the vehicle the top of the lug nut or anything it all has to be clear and that's our lesson on ball or radius seat lug nuts versus conical seat lug nuts Thank you and have a great day. This is Richard with MyWheelAdapters.com. Another important note I want to add here while I'm talking about this is that I am referring to the lug nuts that hold the adapter to the vehicle. Okay, the lug nuts that you use on on the adapter are only limited by the size of the stud. You have to have the right kind of lug nut for the wheel. Different wheels use different kinds of lug nuts. When you have so many different so many different lug nuts, it's because different wheels use different lug nuts. Okay? You have to have the right kind of lug nut. If your wheel is a factory Honda wheel that takes a 
a ball seat or radius seat uh, lug nut or a Mercedes wheel that takes a radius seat um, bolt then that is the that is, that is what you need to use on the stud of the adapter in the right size. This is a 12 by 1.5 in this particular adapter. Um, but so you would have to have this type of a lug nut to hold the wheel to the adapter. But the adapter must have the conical seat lug nut to hold it to the car in the right size for the stud that is sticking out of the car. So you have to have all the right lug nuts in the right place. This is Richard with MyWheelAdapters.com. Have a great day.